Hey everyone, my name is Paul Kamara. I own Spring Green Landscaping in the Northeast in a little state called Rhode Island. I'm gonna be making some videos for you all here, uh, mainly around the topic of horticulture and plant identification. Um, we're gonna get started off today uh, with fundamentals, two very, very easy but misused terms in categories in horticulture. First one being evergreen. The word evergreen mainly is thought of, of a plant that never loses its foliage. That's just simply wrong. An evergreen is a plant that doesn't lose all of its foliage in one year. Um, pine trees, arborvitaes, cedars, they're also considered conifers but in the fall you'll see the inside of those plants turning brown and maybe you'll get a call from a client or a customer saying that your plant is dying um there's nothing wrong with that it's just shedding its inner its older foliage so there's nothing wrong with that you're fine pine trees do it every fall so do arborvitaes mainly arborvitaes because they really look bad in the fall and your customers usually get nervous with that so just keep that in mind Evergreens do not keep their foliage forever. They do shed their foliage yearly, just not all of it. Now, evergreens can also be broadleaf evergreens. Broadleaf evergreens, needle, there's subcategories where you have needle evergreens, scale evergreens, and broadleaf evergreens. Needle being pine, scale being more like an arborvitae or a hinoki cypress and broadleaf broadleaf evergreens are your rhododendrons your boxwoods your hollies they don't lose all of their leaves every fall or every winter they keep them um, right behind me right here is a pjm rhododendron that doesn't lose its leaves through the winter time it adds interest when you're designing your plants and you're designing your jobs you have to add broadleaf evergreens in to add interest during the winter time um, so yeah, you got conifers and mind you, you might be getting too far ahead. Conifers don't lose their leaves. I'm sorry. Conifers also can be deciduous. So there's deciduous plants as well. Deciduous are plants that lose all their leaves every year, all of them. So right here, spirea loses its leaves every year down to the sticks maples japanese maples your oak trees spirea i think i said that already beech trees um all the trees roses i'm looking around as i'm tr trying to remember plants hydrangeas hydrangeas lose their leaves every year as well those are deciduous there are also conifers that are deciduous and this is the biggest, biggest problem. So you see a conifer, like a dawn redwood, one of the most expensive trees at the nursery. In the wintertime, drop all its leaves. Your customer calls you and says, my tree died. You have to know that that's a dawn redwood and that's what it does. It looks like a pine tree that just died because it dropped all its needles. Or a larch, a larch is the same thing. They drop all their needles during the fall and it looked like a pine tree, so it looks like it died. So you have to know your plants. We're gonna get into that, how to determine what a plant, how to determine techniques to identify what a plant is and what a plant isn't, how to know if a plant's alive or dead before you cut down a noble tree like a Dawn Redwood, or to know if your plant is a broadleaf or a deciduous plant when you look at them. But for now, those are the two categories of plants to start off with. As fundamentals, we're gonna get into things more deeply as the year goes on. I hope this helps. I hope this shows, um, I hope this helps you guys better your business in some way. When your customers are asking you questions, to have the right vocabulary to raise your stock, to make them believe that you are the guy that knows what you're doing. Believe me, it works. So good luck, guys. I hope you guys are having a good spring. 
Stay safe. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.